Greetings and thank you for giving us this opportunity to come to you today. It's our delight to be able to spend a few moments with you and pray with you and we trust that this time together will be enriching to you. This week we're talking about how to test personal prophecy or prophetic words that we receive personally. The Bible instructs us to test everything and to hold on to what is good, which means we discard what is not good. So you got to test the prophetic word. So we said the first test, is it in line with the scriptures? So the second test, is the word and the person who gave it to me moving me toward God? The third test that we will learn today is does the Holy Spirit bear witness with my spirit to that prophecy? See, the Bible tells us that as children of God, in Romans 8, 16, the Spirit bears witness with our spirit. That means He is speaking to us in our spirit. The Holy Spirit is in you. He's speaking to you in your spirit. So if the Holy Spirit has given you, is giving, given somebody a word to give to you, and that word is coming to you from the Holy Spirit, then that word will bear witness and will be in line with the witness of the Holy Spirit in you. So there will be a connection of the witness of the Holy Spirit in your spirit with the word being given to you. You say, well, what does it mean? What does it mean the spirit bearing witness with my spirit to that prophecy? Well, it means that there is peace in your heart Sometimes a sense of joy, there's a sense of delight, a sense of gratitude in your spirit for that word. That means the spirit is telling you, yes, this is from me. There's peace, there's joy. Uh, there's a, a recognizing in your spirit that this is a true word from God. But that word is disturbing you, uh, 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 causing restless in you. You feel uh, restless in your spirit when you've heard that word, or you feel very disturbed. You need to pause, you need to wait, and you say, Holy Spirit, help me to discern this. Is it really from you? Or there's something inside that says, hmm, don't receive it. Then you got to be careful. You don't have to receive that prophecy just because somebody gave it to you. If you feel in your spirit, the spirit bearing witness and saying, don't receive it, then just be quiet and discard whatever was spoken to you. Acts chapter 20, and verse, chapters 20 and 21 is very beautiful example, the Holy Spirit was bearing witness with the Apostle Paul. And then when he traveled in chapter 21, he goes to Caesarea. Uh, there come, he receives prophecy on two occasions, one from a group of believers and one from a person called Agabus. And in both cases, they say what the Holy Spirit has already spoken to the Apostle Paul. So the Holy Spirit has already spoken to them, to him. And what they are saying is only bearing witness to what the Spirit has already spoken to Paul. So, that's the third test. Does the Holy Spirit bear witness? Let's pray. Spirit of God, we thank you so much that you bear witness with our spirit. That you speak to us in our spirit. Make us more sensitive to you and to hear you more clearly. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.